Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. This one deals specifically with the ILS problem in Xplain and the solution that Zebo has implemented to counter the problem. It is only valid from the Zebo mod version 3.37.11. As you can see over there, I've put it on screen for you. And um, it's very important that it also is only for the guys using Navigraph navigation data. If you do not use Navigraph and you are uh, only uh, using the default explain data, this is not for you. Please don't make a mistake. A bit of background for those of you that are not aware. Um, it basically comes down to this, that there is a discrepancy between the explained navigation database when it comes to the ILS information and the one provided by Navigraph. Uh, explain does not update the database as regularly as Navigraph does, so there are a lot of airports with uh, completely outdated and incorrect information in Explain, and this has started to create a problem for the guys using Navigraph together with the Zebo. For this reason, uh, Zebo implemented a mechanism now in uh, the new uh, Zebo mod that we've just discussed. It's going to compare the default data with the Navigraph payware data. It is uh, then going to create a new file containing just the records that are different. Whatever is in that file is then going to take priority over the data in the default navigational uh, database file that is shipped with um, Explain 11. The records uh, in this new file that was created by Zippo are actually then a combination of both the sources uh, of their data and uh, this will make them compatible with the updated charts as well as scenery gateway airports. They are then in fact a combination of the frequency, the range and the glide slope angle from the updated Navigraph data, so they match the charts in other words, and the location from the default data so you land at the right place. In other words, a very nice uh, combination of the data systems. For this functionality to work as intended, you're going to have to enable it via the Zebo tablet. Um, guys, always remember any settings uh, in the Zebo always runs from here, just as a reminder. But we have to go to configure and customize, general config, and then page two. And over here, you will see create custom and nav data. Right, you're going to have to restart explain for the changes to take effect. Please take note. All right, then all we do is we click on on. That brings up a couple more issues. Please take note. You use this at your own risk. Uh, you will lose uh, some of your user nav data. And please do not report any bugs to laminar research. And you need to restart explain for changes. All right. The data that you're going to lose is insignificant for the Zebo. All right. It's not going to change a file. It's not going to sabotage anything. Please don't run around worried. It's not going to damage anything. It will not change your default explain because you probably have a lot of other aircraft that still relies on that and we're going to keep it as that. It's not going to do anything for you. Um, you can then, after you've done this, uh, go and save your settings which is critical if you do not save the settings it will not remember it and it will throw it away after a flight restart so we have to go to page 2 from the main menu save all configs uh, I like to click it twice it just makes me feel better you don't have to do it um, but there you go now it is saved and we can actually restart explain so before we continue, I just want to focus your attention on these two windows. On the left hand side here, we've got the Zebo folder. And then I just want to quickly recap on those three files. This is the actual navigation database that Zebo uses. Uh, the Zebo mods do not 
use Navigraph or uh, the default explain database on the fly while you're busy using it. Um, what typically happens is you install the Zebo and at first start, first usage, it will create the, these three files for you. So um, some of you might know this already. It's covered many times in my installation uh, video and in guides uh, for a long time. Now, if you get a database corruption and you can't find an airport in your FMC, these are the three files to simply delete and the Zebo will recreate the database. Now, with today's tutorial and what Zebo has done now, and it's, it's now obviously taking it one step further, I just want to show you uh, the custom data folder as well. So anybody that's ever installed Navigraph and gone and looked at the actual uh, display, what it looks like in the folder, th this should look familiar because this is exactly what it does. Now what's going to happen um, with Zebo Magic now is it's going to now look at both databases like we've said. It's going to compare them and it's going to write out a file that contains the discrepancies, the differences between the two databases. Combine them, create a little file that's called user underscore nav dot that and it's going to reside literally there where the mouse is. And the reason it needs to go into this folder is because explain will not read it any other way. All right, and we are trying to give explain a new database information right so it has to go in there now I'm going to restart my explain I'm going to restart the Zebo I'm going to continue and show you as I go along and then we will come back here and have a look uh, and see that the file has been created and welcome back everybody the explain has just restarted I've loaded the Zebo mod again and I can see here that our mission is accomplished. The user underscore nav dot that file has been created. And now we just need to check the Zebo. And I just want to pan to our tablet over there. And you can clearly see uh, it confirms the nav data has been created and we need to restart the explain. So we'll honor that and we will continue the discussion uh, when I'm back in explain. And uh, we are back in explain after that restart. I've restarted the Zebo mod as you can see there. So I'm just going to quickly uh, check that we don't have any more errors on the tablet. Everything seems fine in, and in order. So I'm going to quickly just uh, bring that user file over to us on screen here. And if we actually edit this file just to have a look inside you're going to see a lot of information. Um, just bear in mind there are three lines that we need to subtract from the end. So we go to the very bottom and we've got 8,894 uh, discrepancies between the explain native nav database and the Navigraph database. And we subtract our three little lines from the heading there. We've got 8,891 discrepancies between the Navigraph database and explain native database. So this is the extracted file and the combined file to give us the functionality we've already discussed. And this should take care of um, the ILS issues that everybody's been experiencing with the Zebo mod. One important thing to note, uh, which I haven't mentioned before is, the 8,891 is not the amount of airports that are influenced. It is the amount of nav aids that are influenced. We are talking about navigational aids, not airports. So from 8,891, uh, we haven't counted it. Yuri also made it very clear he's not even going to count it. So it could be 50 airports, could be 200 airports, could be 500 airports, but it's going to be less than the 8,894 because certain frequencies are used more than once. Okay, so just bear that in mind. This is not a airport or a reflection on the amount of airports that have got discrepancies. It's nav aids. All right, so just bear that in mind, please. There are two more things I just quickly thought about that I want to mention to you. Um, the first thing is, if we recall back while we enabled this, there was a notification that you're going to lose your user information. And I made mention that you won't lose anything. I was obviously uh, referencing 
the default x-plane or uh, even the Navigraph information. Uh, while speaking to Yeri just now, he actually clarified another point for me on this point. Um, if you are a scenery designer or if you have fiddled with scenery and you have changed anything manually, this is what Zebo was referring to. The moment you change any information, any default information, a user underscore nav that file would have been created anyway. All right. So the moment you enable the Zebo version, it's going to overwrite your custom stuff. So please bear that in mind if you are a scenery designer uh, or if you have fiddled with some of the uh, native stuff. Now this file that Zebo now creates should anyway take you know precedence it, it's going to overwrite it's going to now be the the file to use it if it read the information from the Navigraph database and you had the same intention there's no point in you doing the same thing again it it's now fixed so please just bear that one little thing in mind so um, you don't go wonder what happened um, uh, with your specific customized user uh, information. Then the last thing I want to mention, which is very important, is if you want to undo this process and this facility, you have to physically go to uh, the tablet, go to your configure, customize, uh, go find that setting that we enabled, switch it off, but please realize Zebo does not delete any files automatically. You will still have to now come and come find this custom data folder in your Explain 11 installation, find this file and manually delete it to undo this whole process. Zebo does not delete any files uh, for you automatically. Well guys, that brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that um, I made it uh, easy enough to understand, clear enough. And uh, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And we shall speak again very soon. Bye-bye for now.